Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. UTEP standing on the precipice of having this season become a total disaster. So in this one, if something doesn't go their way early, they've got to forget it. Each play, a life and history of its own, short memory, try to build some type of rhythm, and maybe finally get a double. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. section of the Rocky Mountains. We're at the Sun Bowl in El Paso, Texas. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Shelton has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. He's to the 20. At the 30. Tackle at the 27. Texas A&M's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. He's to the 40, and they make the stop around the 42-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. He's scrambling, and he's level at the 41. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 41. incomplete. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 42-yard line. Williams picks up about a yard with that completion. Burke awaits the snap. It's away. Short punt. They'll certainly need better production from this offense as the game goes on. Boy, the crowd was loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Clayton, he's hit hard. Austin picks up six yards with that grab. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Set. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. Inside give, and down he goes. Right around the 38-yard line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Right, right, 
from their own 38 yard line. Second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Man left, man left. He's out of bounds. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. From the 45-yard line, first down. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. to work and he's tackled at the 29. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver but this guy's got it. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Abrams fakes the handoff. Deep pass to the end zone. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly, he stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Fires it out. They'll bring him down at about the 25-yard line. Third down. Here's play number 10 on the drive. is caught the defense lays him out it's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it nice run there good run by the halfback that'll be good enough to move the chains i don't think there's a coach in the world who wouldn't be happy with getting five yards of carry here's the 12th play of the drive Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Austin was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second. From the 15 yard line, second down. Mike 36. Mike 36. Tackle at the five. They complete the slant. Good for 10. That'll bring up third and inches. And here's the 14th play of the drive. sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers we played one now this one's scoreless And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Texas El Paso is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The ponies ready to tee it up as SMU is set to go in University Park. And for SMU, they can become bowl eligible with a win here today. The Mustangs are on top, 7-0. In other games, off we go to San Antonio. The Bears dial up a pick six and strike first. The Bears lead 7-0. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Shelton has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He'll return it from the six. 
He gets out to about the 25-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he tackles him hard at the 36-yard line. The option's one of the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled. Right around the 44-yard line. Number 19 on the tackle at the 44-yard line. That makes it second and two. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call a gain of six yards. That makes it first and ten. Hey, check He's on the run. He makes his way to about the 42. That's a team on the play. That makes it second and two. Check pass. Kill, kill, kill. Green, nine. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle made at the 34. Call the game of eight yards. First down. Check back, check back, check back. Go! Quick throw, and he is drilled at the 26. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That makes it third and three. Taken down at the 20. That's a game of seven on the play. First down. Kill, kill, kill! And three, seven. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. Anderson picks up two yards with a carry. That brings up second and nine. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he hits him hard at the nine. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it first and goal. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll make the sack. You can credit some of that to the blitz. The offensive line just wasn't able to handle all the pressure on that play. Second and goal. Ball on the 12. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 10-yard line. That makes it third and goal. Job by the defense of getting after that quarterback, and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. So it's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. So the Aggies' quarterback taken off earlier down on the sideline right now. 
Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, and I would bet that we'll see him back in the game before the day is over. And he's got it. Texas A&M to kick. McCollum from the seven. He's out to the 30, and he's taken down at the 34-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Steps out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Brought down around the 44-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Both players were very aggressive in going after that ball. This could go either way. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45. Quick out to his receiver. And he's taken down around the 38-yard line. The pass good for maybe seven yards. Good recovery here by the corner to react that quickly on the throw and prevent this from becoming even a bigger game. it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop right around the 22-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. He's knocked out of bounds at about the five-yard line. First down. First and goal here. Let's see if they keep it on the ground inside the five. the three-yard line. UTEP's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Hey, D-line, let's get in there. Let's get in there. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> Pitch out right, and he's tackled for a loss. That's a loss of five yards. That makes it third and goal. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. Once he gets those jets on, there wasn't going to be anything that could stop him. And he hits the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The football's flying all over the lot in the Big 12. Let's take a look at this one again. The Wildcats have the perfect connection and a touchdown. And for Denman, he's thrown for a pair of touchdowns. 
The Wildcats are on top, 14-7, early in the second quarter. And for Texas A&M, they know now that they've really got to win this game or they're going to be in trouble in their conference standing. Shelton has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Robinson fields it at the nine. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle. That's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. At this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Gain of 11 on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Throws a dart to the right, and he makes a catch. They'll bring him down at the 14. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does, and he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Touchdown, a and m put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. So a four play, 68 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Texas A&M is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. So much of the passing game is about the time between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. So we've played two quarters. And a 10-10 tie in this game. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast pace, up tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf? Some pasture turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, guys, welcome back. Second half just about set to start, and we're dead even. McCollum from the six. He's out to the 30, heading for the corner. Across midfield, and he's finally taken down at the 37-yard line. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Inside give. Tackle right around the 38-yard line. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. 
Ball on the 38. The Miners saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. Pocket holds. And he's tackled right away. First and ten. Ball on the 24. Gets out to about the 22-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Third down. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Three down, three down. Mike, 36. Mike. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll make it fourth and two. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Watch 36. They're all tied in on the line here on fourth and short. Toss out to the halfback, and he stuffed immediately. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. Yeah, they went with a toss play here, but no one on that defensive side of the ball was fooled. you got to give them credit for making a great play. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter, and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Gets it out quickly. Knocked out of bounds around the 24-yard line. That makes, that makes it, it second, second and six. six. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, bro. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Check, check, check. Three, nine. Three, nine. Now he's scrambling. He's brought down in the open field. That makes it first and ten. I got you, pop. Nice run there. Call it a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. Watch one, watch one. Stay fast, stay fast. Dead kill. Three nine. Three nine. He's got it with room to run. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll bring the third and two. Throws it out right to the running back. He's tackled around the 47 yard line. Allen makes the tackle at the 47 yard line. First down. Gets to about the 47 yard line. That makes it second and ten. From their own 47 yard line. Second down. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Tackle made at the 44. Allen makes the tackle at the 44 yard line. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. First down. Kill, 
and he's immediately tackled. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Roger, Roger. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. Red, two, three, nine. He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. So at the end of three, this one's all even at ten. Played three quarters even. Fourth quarter is going to tell the difference. He's going to try and scramble. And they got it. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Play 13 of the current drive. They come out in a goal line set. Back five, back. On the pass, touchdown. He adds the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's have a look at some scores from around the country. Several surprises today. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for Kansas State, they look to pull away in this one. The Wildcats have the lead, 31-7. All right, thanks, Reese. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Kelly, back to return. What a collision. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. Well, the defense has a chance here to put this game out of reach. It's going to come down to this last drive here. Over two minutes to go. It's a one-possession game. And if the defense can come up with a stop, more than likely this game is over and the defense can secure a victory. He makes his way to about the 38. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Walden comes away with about two yards and a little draw play. That makes it second and eight. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Here we go. Green 19. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Calling a loss of eight yards on the play. That makes it third and 15. Third and long, and this is where you earn your money if you're the offensive coordinator. Going deep, lays it out there. And that tackle very well could have saved the touchdown. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Pressure coming. Passes and it's almost picked off. That makes it 
second and ten. the middle he's gobbled up in the backfield one yard loss for the halfback that makes it third and 11. to get back in this game in the fourth quarter this third and long is huge less than three minutes in the game Quick shot to the tailback and threw his hands. Walden was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Ready. He's going left. That is receiver. Touchdown. Will be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. So that's an eight play, 74 yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. And a huge contribution from the aerial attack. Boy, they had some nice big pass plays on that drive. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 28. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. There's a lot of time left, and I think the important thing for this offense is to get their momentum back and move the ball down the field. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. First down. Strike to the receiver. And down he goes at about the 49. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Let's go, let's go. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. Check, check. Going long. Doesn't get there. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. Had protection, now scrambles. And he has it on the corner, and he dives forward. And Herbie, we got a guy down after that play. Ball is in the quarterback. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. And they make the stop at the 30. Jones with the tackle at the 30-yard line. That makes it first and 10. throws incomplete Brad I don't know about you but it looked to me that they just miscommunicated it looked like the wide receiver was going in one direction and the quarterback was throwing it another direction they definitely need to get on the same page scrambling around he's at the 20 and he's taken down at about the 13 first down This is the ninth play of this drive. Under a minute left in the game. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. 
So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Touchdown, Aggies! They just didn't get the snap off in time. Here's the call. Offense. the PAT. And the ball game's over. So the Aggies get the win. 24-17. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.